Okay, YouTubers, I know it's been a while since I made a video here, but this is just going to be a general, just a general little tour of what's going on in my system. It's a little bit messy going on here. There's boxes and baskets just full of miscellaneous stuff, as well as stuff in the shop, but I do have a few new items to show you. Which I will be making probably a separate videos in the future. I do have archive of videos as well, but so before I get into the into the video here, I just learned that there was a Forever 21 at the Arrowhead Town Center Mall. That was a form of Irvins, and they had these speakers inside. Oh, I just learned that they were officially closed. Because my sister went there with their friend yesterday and they said it was closed, so. Now, I'm really, I really want one of those speakers. I don't know if any of you guys out there know anyone that has these that have torn them out of old Mervin stores. If any of you know someone, I really would like to know. I'd really like to see if I could buy one of these. I just want at least one of those. It looks kind of identical to this one, except this one kind of comes in a full assembly but I just want the baffle assembly with the driver so that way I can screw it to one of these cans here cause I bet that baffle will probably fit on this can no problem which by the way these ones are the ones from the metro center I just have three of them here right now I still have the other two and then the one still in the shop more on that in the video so yeah, and I remember back in November, I was having a little chat with another subscriber of mine through email, and I guess he knows someone that, that I guess, got a hold of some of these from a Mervyn store. They're kind of cool. In fact, I'll show the photo here. I'll keep the name private for obviously privacy reasons, but I got it somewhere here. So that's, I got the photo here, but this is what they sent me here. That's what these look like in person, or I should say off the ceiling. <laughs> I really want one of those bad. And then, I don't know if that's the ones that this old Mer well this last, this former Forever 21 slash Mervis store, I don't know if they have this exact driver. I do remember that they have like some kind, I remember they had a dome dust cap because I kind of used to peek in there a little bit. But this is the back of it right here. That's what the back of that driver looks like and then that's our little, I'm pretty sure that could be your select, I think that might be the volume knob for this. But it looks like a Quam driver. But. I really want one of those bad so again. Shoot a, shoot a, a reply or a comment, I should say, because I can't talk. But shoot a comment if you know anyone or, or if you're willing to sell one of these to me. We'll work something out. I really want one of those, just at least one. So now back to the video here. So I have a bunch of stuff that's been going on around here. That's why I've been a little bit... That's why I haven't posted video, at least a video since February, but I have been getting some new stuff, but not a bunch. We'll start right here. I got this Radio Shack PA amplifier. Yes, it's a Radio Shack. It's a 40 watt amplifier. What this amplifier is currently driving is it's currently driving all these Quam speakers I got from Metro Center. Back in December, as you probably, as, as I filmed there, me ripping these out. Still got them here. So. And I really would like to, you know, do a comparison between the one speaker from Mervyn's with one of these. Because they these have a distinct sound. These kind of remind me of Walmart. Because also Walmart uses Qualm speakers. Qualm speakers have a distinct sound I like. Just give me that Walmart vibe. And then the Mervyn speakers, they have... They sound really good with R&B music because again that was a Forever 21 where I, the, with the speaker I showed you. I took that picture probably like 
probably three years ago, back when they were in business. They sound really good with R&B music, so I'd like to do some comparisons with R&B music between one of these and one of those. And then install it on my system, given if anyone out there is willing to sell one to me. And then I still got my good old Tola up here, the BG, the BG 1060, 60 watt. And then I got this Ratson, but the Ratson's not hooked up to anything at the moment. It's just their kind of... <laughs> For aesthetic reasons, but it does work after a couple repairs, so call that the pyramid of amps. And then here, I this one I got way out, a little bit after the video I made, the last video of 2020, or I should say the mini intercom movie special. So this one is a JBO speaker, and this one I believe is a CSS. 8008 something of that model it is hooked up to this amplifier here don't mind the microwave got a lot of miscellaneous stuff around here it's hooked up to this amplifier which is not on at the moment and then what this other amplifier here is driving I got some speakers here one person told me what happened to the school bus speaker well it's right here I still have it and it still works but these other ones, this one, this one, and this one, these ones are Sylvia speakers. I got these ones back in February. They are not intercom speakers, in case those of you, are, uh, those of you that are asking. These are just your regular old boombox speakers that would commonly be used in like Russia, Ukraine, because they're Sylvia countries. In fact, I got a driver right here if you want to know what it looks like from the behind. So there's a front. Now this one has a little bit of a scratchy problem. Now it's not blown. It's because of the cones kind of shifted a little bit because they did suffer a little bit of shipping damage. Because also they came a long ways to here in Arizona because that's where I live in Arizona. So there's a the front of it. These are the wires I soldered by the way. Speaker polarity is opposite. So this one's your plus, this one's your minus. You got some markings here. Some Sylvia manufacturer markings. So there's that driver. That's what these other ones look like. And this here is an Atlas driver. Some of you might probably laugh to see this here, but this is an Atlas driver. And actually, I thought this driver was acting up in the shop because I ended up replacing it, but it turns out it was something going on with the transformer, so I had a spare driver and this one is just this one was treated as an 8 ohm speaker, so hooked it up and I put it in its own housing. I made these out of all out of a cabinet. Got a cabinet from across the street in January and I made these custom housings for them. You can kind of tell, you can still see the particle board edges, but Again, this, this is just me learning how to build these. I've been making housings a lot lately. I made this one out of a dresser top, and same with this one that's behind the microwave. So now on to the music. Probably some of you are waiting to see the little meter on the Radio Shack. There's a nice little VU meter. Christmas music. There's nothing wrong about playing it during, or I should say, this is the beginning of April when I'm filming this. Now, when I got the stamp, it had some problems not wanting to work, but all, all it needed was this balling controls needed to be clean, but it works great now. Radio Shack. And then this one. Turn it up. This one 
So we're currently driving five amplifiers, counting the two in the shop. That's how many amps are hooked up. And yes, I isolated all of them with these. I recently got more isolators to properly isolate all these amps from each other so we're not having those annoying ground loops. I bet somebody wanting to hear what these qualms sound like on this amp. I don't have Paige hooked up to these speakers or these speakers at the moment. They're just standalone amps. fancy speaker to show you guys something that you probably have probably never expected me to get but it lives here in the shop I did do a few little things in here don't mind all the the miscellaneous junk all over the place which by the way I probably I, I'll probably be making more speaker housings in the future with that's the reason I got these these old boards here and probably to dismantle this dresser Cause this is good wood. It's a little beat it up, but I can sand it down and reuse it for the speaker housings. Nothing's changed in terms of the horn outside. This is the 120 watt amp, but got something to show you. That's right, guys. I got a Bose. Not just any Bose speaker, but specifically the ones they use in the retail stores. But I scored the speaker on eBay. I believe I paid like thirty dollars for it. It's a little bit dingy, and it was missing the, what, the ears that where it straps the speaker to the ceiling. That's why it's kind of partially fallen out. I will correct that in the future. But that's yeah, a boast. I don't know if some of you might not like that, but I did. I did it for a change. And you may be asking, what happened to the previous speaker that was there, which was the out sound speaker? I moved it over here. It lives over here now. The Duquesne that was there previously, it's just currently put away. I don't know. If, I don't know where I'll put it. I'm thinking somewhere right here in the future. I know even though there's this one here, but I'm trying to be space effective in terms of my speakers. I could probably pull one here too, you know, it makes no sense, because I got this other one here too, which is another one from Metro Center. So the other two qualms right there. Went well, along with all the tile braces. Horns are still there, still in their spot. Page is still working. It still works great. See, it's, except it's pretty loud this time. Something about this phone, I like the hang up sound it makes. So, yeah. And to, uh, speaking of paging devices, I did have a viewer request me to get a TAM 2. And I have been looking up TAM 2s on eBay. However, there's this one that's $40. My only problem is it does not have the Phoenix connectors. Which if you don't know what a Phoenix connector is. These green little plugs in the back here. You can unplug them. This one's currently not in use. I need... I'm going to be... I'm going to need... 
there's there's one there's one that's with that has three three screws on the top or three terminals and then there's there's two more with two terminals that's the only thing I'm gonna need which is gonna be kind of pricey but I'm still deciding about that and I need a power supply but in terms of compatibility with the system here it's totally compatible with my system at least based on the PDF documents I've been looking at. Just like, like I'm kind of kind of torn about it at the same time because I really like the UPAM mainly because I don't have to have dedicated power to the device. It gets its power from the ATA back in the room. And someone also asked me in the comments, how do I get these landline phones to work with the Nortel system? Simple answer, ATA2 device. That's how I could use these across the whole system. Just like that. Even an old phone like this works. And in terms of this phone and this phone, and then that little VTEC phone that's on the desk in the other room, those of you that are familiar with that phone, these are all tied under one line. I have them all tied to one line. This one here is on its own line because obviously it's a digital phone. So, nothing else has changed other than just a few little things in the past few months. But, And this is the speaker that was giving me problems. Luckily, I had a spare driver laying around with the transformer on it already, so I was able to just swap it out. And it turns out it was just a loose wire up in this box. But because this speaker, I never bothered changing it. It was kind of left as is. With the, back when the rats and amp was in here, those of you that have watched my videos way back, and then like back probably three, four years ago, you probably know that I had a rat, that rats and amp that's in the other room used to drive this side. This was just. This was part of that old system, and I never bothered changing it when I upgraded this side. I just left the transformer in there, but it turned out that the transformer had issues. I, probably the wire was loose or something like that, so I just left the transformer abandoned, and I finally hooked this up to full-blown 70 volts. So now it's got a speaker in there that's 70 volts. Because that Atlas sound speaker, that transformer is removed. But other than that, all of these have... Nothing changed. Telecore still in the same spot. There's the qualm from Metro Center. Now, I don't know what's going on with this drop ceiling here, but I don't know if I'm going to redo this drop ceiling or not. That's another thing I've, that I might be doing in the future because I have noticed, like, per, at least on the side where the bow speaker is, I've noticed it's starting to bow pretty bad. And I have put like supports out there because I know I've seen some tiles in some stores where the speaker's totally not on a tile brace and it's like bowing bad. But at the time when I put that Atlas sound speaker here, my creative idea of a tile brace was just to put a couple 1x3s up here, 1x2s, 1x3s across the tiles to prevent it from bowing. But see, I don't know if I'm going to completely leave this drop ceiling. I might put make this hard lit but see i have this light and this speaker and that's another thing i don't want to move i want to leave these two in the same spot where they're at want to be a problem for these two but i like this light and the speaker where it's at it probably put actual drywall up there well some of it's actual drywall but some of it i just got a little creative because i didn't have enough material at the time i got the material over here Plenty of cardboard and plenty of drywall bits, countertop, and brand new sheet of OSB just sitting over here, and I want to put some of it to use. I don't know what I'll do about this, but I might just sell it at some point. Because it's just sitting here. Got some Costco lights. So... And, it, and I made a video on these. It will be posted in the future. It's in the video archives. These are Costco lights. 
Danelle Halife fixtures. Some of the stores, these ones are the Halophone mop. This one's the Halophone. But that's for another video that I'll probably be putting up in the future. Got the stack of vents still there. I have been reading the comments. Just, I just don't have the time right now. Or at least, it been, well, at least it did the past few months. It's been kind of hectic. So I hope you guys enjoyed this, this video. And again, shoot me a comment if you guys know someone that has a, at least one of those speakers. I really want to buy one. And that's been on my number one to get, you know, number one item, no, no, I should say number one speaker to get on the list. For the system, because I really like to have a piece of Mervyn history on my system. So, stay tuned for more. There is video archives I will be posting here soon.